Hi guys. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. I've just not organized. Story of my life. Give me a second here. My interests are so cool. Love shine. Thanks. Hi, Face Mac. I miss you. Good to see you. Oh, my music's a little out here. Good to see you guys. Let's just turn that down a little bit. That is the painting that we're going to paint today. That cute little raccoon in the bottom corner there. Wait, how did my hands work? Where would it go? Right here. Beep. <laughs> New setup is working, you guys. It's recording. We're happy. My hair is crazy. It's a good day. Hi, Saker. Hi, Justin. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. We're painting a raccoon today. All right. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I haven't even thought a second about how I'm going to teach this. So we're going to just double cam life. We're going to just figure it out together, okay? Hey girl, hey. Hey Cinderella. I've been studying for three months for a stupid ass that book. What? That's a journey and a half. Three months of anything is a long time. Well, come paint with us today. No, I have to go in like two minutes. I have to go to school tomorrow. Ah, oh, no, that's okay, Love Shine. If you really want to paint that raccoon, the video will be on YouTube. I uh, upload these onto YouTube tonight. It'll be up by the morning. And um, then you can still do it. It won't be the same live experience, but it's possible to uh, not miss the whole class, okay? Um, you guys know it's weird for me to have a camera right in front of me. I always forget. I'm gonna keep looking over here like I'm used to, so just we'll get used to that today. My hair is gonna just be lopsided. Uh. Oh my gosh, you have a YouTube you should have told you. I'm sorry. I thought I said it every time. Maybe I obviously didn't. I do have a YouTube. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Tay Tayski across the field. You'll find me. My website's taytayski.com, you guys. Anything. Love Shine's gonna be my 400th subscriber. That's a big deal. Girl, thanks. Sorry, I just assumed girl. <laughs> My uh, YouTube is also Tay Tay Ski. You guys, Google Tay Tay Ski and you'll find me everywhere. <laughs> okay, just confirming Love Shine because I called some boys girls the other day and I just misgendering people like it's my job. <laughs> so, never take offense to you guys. I don't mean it. Um, you're going to check my YouTube, so you'll be my 401st follower. That's a dream. Okay. Let me think about this for a second, because I have to plan this little raccoon. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm getting close up there. Um, has anybody not painted? Is there any newbies today? Any new painters in the house or just new? Oh, look, I did it again. I looked over there. You're right here. Um, <laughs> any new uh, members of the peanut gallery? We also enjoy people that don't paint, but they hang out with us and keep the conversation going because then I'm not awkward. You guys are the best. Thank you. Yeah. So let me start figuring out how I'm going to teach you guys how to paint this raccoon. And then let's do it. We have a lot of fun here, you guys. There's no stress at Tay Tay Ski Studio. There's no mistakes. I'm not gonna say no mistakes, just happy accidents, because I'm sure that's trademarked. But that's the vibe we go through here. I like to say trust the process. Halfway through about the painting, you are gonna be like, uh, this is weird, what am I drawing? Sorry for the distraction here, I just got a potato in the comments. And I was about, oh my gosh, I I know you told me how to say your username properly, but I want to go right back to saying text machine. Ah, oh, thanks for the potato. Even though, okay, good, okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> Even though I know you personally told me how to say your name and I just can't do it. I appreciate the potato, that's crazy. I haven't even done anything exciting for you guys yet. 
<laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay. What was I doing? Sorry, I'm just distracted all of a sudden. The potato just brought me on to a whole nother level. Um, uh, we are Adam Loves Trash Pandas. Okay, well, like, let's learn how to draw one, right? I think it's fun. This one is, like, upside down in a bed of peonies. Are those those flowers? Peonies? I don't know. Um, uh, I've said more than once in the past that I'm actually not very good at painting flowers, so we're just gonna do it together and figure it out as we go. So, our little raccoon is gonna start with... Okay, okay, okay. I think this is gonna be easy, you guys. As usual, right? I always say it's gonna be easy. And you know what's gonna be crazy? We're gonna paint it upside down. We're not gonna flip it right side up. We're gonna start from um, upside down and go for it. Um, somebody's asking, I happen to disagree as you're the proud owner of a Tay flower painting. Hey, you are, but that was really hard for me. <laughs> You guys, flowers are hard, okay? Not to stress you out before we start. I am wilding out, Justin. Um, you guys, this is literally the raccoon. Oh, I forgot his tail, though. I'm wilding out because no matter, like, I've literally been doing Thursday night 8 p.m. streams for months and months and months. <laughs> and every Thursday, I'm still like, oh my god, <laughs> I got a stream. <laughs> So, okay, Ilum, yeah, good. we've got the bean science going. You guys, this is our raccoon. Do you see that? Easy. Look, happy. Easy. Adam wants to do trash in f instead of flowers. Please do. That would probably be more fun. Love Shine really has to go. Really want to stay. Love my art. Ugh. Love Shine, we all love you too. You're the sweetest little thing. You'll be back. We ain't worried. Have a good night and enjoy school tomorrow. Okay, yes. I'm getting used to the double screens, you guys. Um, Drizzy Gates is back in the building, ready for the raccoon. And Face Mac by Tay will be back in an hour. Okay, you go steady. You got this. We'll be here. Okay? So, all you little painters, let's get our littlest brushes ready. Like, that works. <laughs> this is gonna be like, make me laugh the whole time, the two cameras. I had to pull it further back so that you guys could see my palette, but then that makes it like really close to like this zone. Okay, um, you are going to get out black and white, okay? And like I always say, you don't need much black, okay? Just a little black. A little black goes a long way. Salute, little Tay Tay. RCV, hello. How are you doing? Welcome to the studio. Yeah, Drizzy, you have made three shows in a row. That is commitment. That is commitment, and I am honored. We love having you. You are not only the TTC gang, you're like the positivity gang over there. We love it. Okay. We've got black and white on our palettes, and after all that, I didn't even put it in a spot that you can see, so let's just... Hey, stay down, little guy. Okay, there we go. Oh, this button's gonna be the death of me, and then let's paint the raccoon. So, we're not gonna start with black, we're not gonna start with white, we're gonna start with a little gray, okay? The, um, we, you can also start with a pencil. I always forget to say that. If you want, I miss the chunk of hair. Um, if you are more comfortable with a pencil, go for it. Um, that's to each their own. Some people like to use a watercolor pencil crayon. That works too, but I will always teach you how to do it with paint because it's easy, you know. Hello, Brian. Brian DeBrat. I like that. 
caught us just in time. I'm about to start a raccoon. And Drizzy, yes, hold on to that thought. I'll answer that in one second. I have, but okay. That's raccoon ears. Uh, oh, I looked back again. You're gonna grab a little touch of black and a little touch of white. And you're gonna grab a bunch of water. You guys can't see my water, but every time I go over here, this is my water dish here. You're gonna scoop water with your brush onto the palette until you get like a chocolate milky consistency of that gray. We're doing it gray just because we are wanting to paint some flowers probably over top of those lines. Um, this is a very non-permanent line that we're laying down and the water helps us just lightly map stuff out, okay? So we're gonna take a breath because this is fun and not stressful, okay? And you're gonna take a look at your whole canvas and acknowledge the whole piece and look at our little picture down here and imagine where we're gonna put that raccoon on here. Because instead of, oh, hi, Nikki. Instead of, that's actually, Adam brought that up down there. Um, some people get caught using just a very small little corner of their canvas because they're intimidated by the whole thing. So it's important to acknowledge the whole space. And we are gonna start by drawing just a circle. It's not a circle, I lied to you, it's an oval. And see how I went around more than once? You don't have to do that, that's just me trying to make sure I have the size or shape that I want. And some of you might draw that little egg perfectly in one go. I think, I mean, I had to do it a couple times before it became the size that I wanted, the size and shape. This is just his little head at the bottom, so this circle. And where's my pen? Me down there. Um, Adam's painting flower. I mean, garbage instead. I guess we could do that too, potentially. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, sure. Dan's just bringing in some snacks. You can just. That's probably the only safe space. Thanks, love. Oh no! Oh, you have the hand in there. It didn't work. No, you gotta do it over this camera's right here. <laughs> Dan! <laughs> Dan's just coming here to feed me like a sweet angel. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, I'm wilding out today. <laughs> Thanks, babe. We've got a oval, right? Back to the raccoon here. We've got a little head, and then let's do bean science, am I right? A bean. Remember, we gotta do a big raccoon tail. We have to do his arms. Like, always acknowledge that you're leaving space for all of those things, okay? Because that's important. What am I looking for? My coffee. The raccoon's name should be Rusty. Easy, we can do that. Rusty the raccoon. Leave space for trash. <laughs> I'll do both because some people might want to learn flowers, but some people might learn trash. So I'll do a nice collection of the two, okay? All right, so we still have this really watered down chocolate milky consistency of paint. And we are still using a little paintbrush. We still have like a long ways to go, all right? So the first thing we are going to do is his left arm, okay? So right here where his head meets his body, let's just draw a line straight out. Is this the amazing Tay the Queen Painter of Caffeine? <sighs> Proud of guy. I always know that you'll be here just to spread some cheer. That was a rhyme without even, that was a poet without even knowing it. Random guy, what a random guy, but what a random positive guy, am I right? Okay, we've got an arm. And now let's just like bring that arm in, kind of like a triangle, but we're gonna curve it a little bit. See how it's just a little curved in? This is very not permanent, right? Like maybe you wanna make his arm longer, like you can bring out that arm longer if you want, I don't know. Since this is, <laughs> just stuttered there. Since this is that light, 
consistency, like that watered down paint. Um, it's gonna be very easy for us to put thick paint over top and these lines to disappear. So remember, again, they are not permanent. Because I know there's some people out there stressing because there always is. All right, so then out of this little raccoon, I should be looking at this big. Out of this other side, we're actually going to bump up his body a bit because he's got a big chubby body. The bean was just to help us out. So we're going to come up a little ways higher than the line we've started with, okay? And we're going to kind of make like a shoulder, but then come on down. Okay, I know that feels weird, but it's okay. <laughs> I promise. Trust the process, remember, okay? Oh, this is a drip that's not supposed to happen. Don't worry about that. Okay, now. We're gonna find where we made this line for that other arm. And we're gonna come across, okay? Right across. And we are going to make it the same, a pointed triangle on the side there. He's gonna have hands, but we'll deal with those later. Hands are never the funnest, but a raccoon hand will be easier than a human hand, I think. <sighs> okay, I'm still using that nice gray, watered down, yada yada. And let's just make a cutie little foot out the side here, okay? So we're gonna come you don't have to. This is just me um, um, what you would call it. Ooh, I just made it really dark. Don't make yours darker. I'm just by accident. I did. Okay, so let's bring that little leg off. Oh yeah, Drizzy, see it's a good mixture of the two. I always I don't mind you guys talking to this is royalty free. You've just heard this song so many times because it's the same playlist I let play every time that you think it's not. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? K <laughs> yeah. It's just the same music always. Sorry, guys. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I did this wrong leg. Sorry, here, hold that. It's basically the same. It's just a little nubbin. And then let's bring his belly. And from this line, the first bean that we made, his leg's gonna come down to meet that line to make another triangle. And while you guys do that, I'll talk about the tattoos that Jersey was asking before. Um, I get asked all the time to do tattoos or to design them or if I should be a tattoo artist or if I wanted to be. And to be honest, that stresses me the heck out. <laughs> I'm like a, I have a very shaky hand and my whole style is like making mistakes and covering them up and like playing with those layers like that's how I work and that just like doesn't work for tattoos <laughs> I'm like I can design people tattoos I'll gladly design tattoos but I always tell people too that um your tattoo artist is always going to redesign it and draw it themselves because they understand how to work on 3D and I only know how to work 2D, right? So I charge you to do a drawing, but then you're going to get charged to do it again. So I always tell you, like, the tattoo artist is usually the best place to go, but I will do a tattoo design here and there. What's in that coffee cup? Literally just coffee. A NASA coffee cup. From down a nice trip to Cape Canaveral a couple years ago. Ah, mm -mm -mm. thanks for the coffee. I'm gonna ask you to draw it and demand it to be the same at the tattoo place. Hey, realistically, it's your body, so they should let you do it. 
My tattoo artist let me, so this is like a sketch right out of my sketchbook from when I was in art school. And he copied that right out of my sketchbook, so that was kind of cool, but it was just like a quickie little walk in. And I think since I'm an artist, it like helped out. But thanks for the coffee. Okay, back to the raccoon. Um, I know you guys probably see that it's darker up here than it is down there. Yours doesn't have to be like that. I just was gabbing and didn't realize I put too much dark in there. So it's not a big deal. Um, let's see. So we're going to go, where's that little raccoon tail come out of? You can decide. We're going to come up. And it's going to look questionable for a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> hey, no, I've designed many tattoos that have been changed. It's just like, well, one, a tattoo artist is still an artist with their own personal style, right? So they usually want to do their own... Oops, sorry, I'm not meant to... I'm just trying to do a little horseshoe shape for the tail. Um... A tattoo artist is an artist as well, so it's, they want to do their own style, but also, like I said, drawing flat is very different than drawing on something that has a curve. So like tattoos do look different, right? If you look at it from certain angles, like you have to know how to like play with that. If you just copy something flat, it doesn't work as well. It's my understanding of tattooing, my small, light understanding. Okay. So we've got that little, oh yeah, somebody said that a tattoo that they want to make over. Um, like you want a cover up, is that what you mean? Okay guys, our little raccoony now, as she's going. She or he, what do we decide to call him? Rusty. Rusty's got some big old ears and they are literally just triangles. Meep meep. And another triangle. How's that? It looks pretty cute right now. It looks like a chinchilla or something. Flying squirrel, maybe. So realistically, we're gonna have to put, whether it's flowers or trash or whatever you want, we are gonna have to put some things on him because I didn't really draw him proportionally right. I kinda like drew him around the flowers, to be honest. Tattoo artists draw flat and you draw at angles that they can. <laughs> That's what make you better. No, I don't know. I think it's, I appreciate the compliment, <laughs> but, uh, I, I think working on, like, a rounded surface is, like, hard as heck. Like, I look at a flat picture and I recreate it on a flat surface. So it's just, like, that's, there's less steps in there for me than for the tattoo artists. <laughs> hey, that's true. That works. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, what do we got here? A raccoon. Um... How are we doing? Am I going too fast? Are we ready to draw some feet and some hands? You made your raccoon way too big for your canvas. Okay, not a problem. He could be larger than life. That's fine. People paint off the canvas. You'll just have to fill up all the extra spaces with like flowers and things. So it won't be like, here can I show it? Unless you want to like white out some size to make him smaller, but I don't think making him too big is a problem. Like, why well, want this move? Like you would have like, for example, I can't close the other side, but you see how I bring him down to the corner here and it's like flush on the sides. And then imagine on the right hand side, it would be flush too. Like there wouldn't be white. That just means that you're, he's just gonna be in a, an abundance of flowers or trash, whatever you decide. Nothing wrong with that. Realistically, I kind of made it too high. If you like, oh, I guess I don't know. I should leave it there. <laughs> if um, he could, like, I probably could have put him a little bit lower down, but there's no mistakes, remember? So we're just going to work with it. <laughs> mm -mm. It'll work, Ash. I ain't worried. 
Okay. I know, like, I don't want to stress you guys out by painting it upside down, but realistically, that's like a trick when they teach you how to paint portraits. Um, is they ask you to paint it upside down. Like you look at the picture upside down, you paint it upside down so that your brain detaches from trying to paint a face because that's very difficult for people just to mentally get over, me, myself sometimes too. So if you flip your painting upside down, flip your painting picture, like your reference upside down, sometimes your brain doesn't detach that it's a face and you're just like drawing things in relation to each other. So maybe painting a raccoon upside down will be easier guys, who knows? Okay, so your raccoon's pregnant on your canvas. It's nothing nothing wrong with a pregnant raccoon. I guess ours kind of looks pregnant right now, too. We'll just put, like, some trash on it. <laughs> if you want to cover up the pregnancy. The pregnancy? I was going to try to say, like, pregnancy. I don't even know what the word I'm trying to say. That's how my raccoon ended up pregnant being upside down. It's not a good one. Okay, that's funny. Okay, we are going to the little hands of our little raccoons. <laughs> and we are going to, still using the same like consistency of paint and such, because we're just mapping stuff out. We're gonna draw a little line out. I always just try to do it the easiest couple steps. One little line out and a line at a little bit of an angle. Do you see that? Meep, meep. Sound effect necessary, obviously. Can you bring that in. And it's gonna look like a claw, like right now he has a crab claw. And come out to the back side a little bit. And then we're just going to attach these together for now. We're not going to draw individual fingers because it's very difficult at first. It might help us to draw like a mitten. Mitten? Glove? So, Drizzy, I, that is like something that I don't know is being played with. But the pictures, I do kind of do a way that you guys can. Like I have my computer here, my Instagram set up. Like we here, I can use Grunge Mania as an example. And if people send it to me on Instagram, then I, ooh, get this little guy out of here. He needs to go underneath here. Um, then I can share the pictures with you guys. Yeah, see, there's Justin with a one day winky in there. Um, but see, like, so she, they DM'd me, like, well, I guess you guys are just going to read all of our messages. Oh, I was going to see where our pictures are. Okay, well, now. Oh, there you go. See, example. When they did the pig one last time. So they can send them in through my DMs, and then I can share with everybody. But it's just, like, an extended, you, like, have to have Instagram, and not everybody does. But it is a nice way to be able to share what other people are doing, because it is important to see what... The rest of the class is doing. I love your piggy too, Stacy. But it's nice to see like everybody's because not everyone's looks the same. It's not supposed to look exactly like mine. Everybody's gonna look different. It's just uh, nice to see that, I feel like. Okay, so we got one little mitt on this side. Am I right? So now we got this hand and we're gonna kind of do the same thing, right? We've got a little thumb, a little bean. And then make it a mitt. So raccoons on maternity leave, pregnancy pics come and see you kill me. Seeing everybody's rat like paintings at the end and in the middle, like it's so fun. That's one of my favorite parts, seeing them all. Also, okay, wait, 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 Justin, look at there's my ADD just clicking. If you are Chris Jenner for Halloween, am I just myself? <laughs> I don't know if Justin's still here, but I guess. I'm either that or Car Kim Kardashian. I'm like, who should I be? I don't know. Um, let's get a little foot in there. <laughs> His foot's a little bit different, okay? It's basically just a bean for now. 
He doesn't really have toes, he just has little nails. Rainer! So, little foot bean, and another little foot bean. Oops, that's supposed to just be a bean, not like six lines. A raccoon's coming to life! Looks like a raccoon if you ask me. Okay. Okay, we've got a raccoon face coming up next. So, we've got our little original head oval that we have. It might be easier for us to make a line right down the middle of his head just for reference where the middle is. Right now it looks like he has just like one, oh, I looked at the wrong camera again. One big like eye of Mordor or whatever it's called. And from that center line, we can see where we have to make his little snout hole. <laughs> Not snout hole. It's just a snout. So see, it's right in the middle. I know, snout hole. I know, I don't know where that came from. But we've got that line, right? And you see it's right in the middle of this, like, little horseshoe. And you see, like, here's the original circle. It goes underneath, like, onto his stomach bean. <laughs> Who's here for bean science? Okay. Everything else is okay, because we basically just got to paint this heckin' cutie. Oh, Cinderella said you're heckin' ready to paint this cutie close enough. Okay. Let me just make sure visually everything is yip, yip, yip. Okay, and then that, okay. And I think that's good to go. And remember, you guys, you can do, uh, oh, Dresden, you sweet, generous soul. Um, you got that even with no ruler. Drizzy, I actually personally refuse to use rulers. <laughs> I hate them. I find them too constricted. <laughs> rulers, painting tape, all the above, not in it. And then Cinderella, pro tip, the paintings always look better with alcohol. You ain't wrong. They also look better far away as well. What are we blasphemying over here, Elam? Yeah, we chatted at you earlier. Okay. We are about to paint the raccoon now, and you guys know I like to work dark to light. Okay, so. <laughs> as I say that, I'm going to take that back a little bit. Um, we're not going to go the darkest, but we are going to go darker than the whole body of the raccoon. So we are going to have to get a little bit of a bigger paintbrush out. And again, like size really depends on your painting. Um, really depends on your personal preference, but I'll show you a bunch of different brushes that will work for what we're about to do. Like it can be, where's my hand? Here it is. It can be, chunky and pointy, it can be a square, it can be rounded, it can be, that's also a square. I'm just saying like, bigger than the, oh, sorry. <laughs> camera one, camera two, camera one. Um, you just want it a little bit bigger than what we were doing the outline with, because it's just, it's stressful when you try to fill a large surface area with a small paintbrush. Um, Oh, Elam's mad about the ruler's respect. Do you want to know what? We had to, in art school, my first year in design drawing, we had to draw a perfectly symmetrical, perfect cube without a ruler to like pass this one spot. It was very difficult and not easy. <laughs> I think I cried, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> okay. We are going to grab, I like I said before, be careful with the black because it's very powerful. 
But we are going to make a darkish gray. It could be a little bit darker than what we are using before. Use a small amount of black and use just keep adding little amounts of it versus starting with a lot of black. Um, slowly adding is a lot more helpful. Mine looks like a pig with a fluffy tail. Hey, that's, that's okay right now. Remember, we're trusting the process. We've got this. <laughs> And now, sorry, good call. Chuckle Milky? No. It is now we're going for a thicker consistency. You don't want much water, but it is helpful. Acrylic is a water-based paint, so water does help pull it around a little bit. Um, but we, can you guys see the palette right now? Not really, but I will. Um, so I always grab a little bit of water just to help pull that paint through. And, uh, but we want it to be like a chunkier consistency because now we're going in to start like filling in our little raccoon. Dry brush for life. <laughs> Adam, Adam. Dry brushing stresses me out. <laughs> okay, here's the darkness level of my gray. Oh, it looks a lot lighter to you guys, but... Always acknowledge too that your paint on your palette is going to dry darker on your canvas. Paint always dries a little bit darker. So we don't want the chalky milk. Thanks for reminding me, Ash. Um, we want a nice thick, like I don't know, can you guys see? Like you can see that there is a lot of paint on that brush, right? So you can dip it in water once or twice so you can start pulling it around. And literally all we're doing is filling in our raccoon. And I am always bringing up being conscious of your brush strokes because it kind of just saves you some time. Sometimes. Um, we know that our guy's fluffy, right? He's a fluffy little dude. So for us to... Oh, wait! Should we paint our trash first? Sorry, guys. We probably should, hey? Or flowers. Um, we probably should. Okay, well, just because we're already here, we'll just do some of his body. So we're just going to be conscious of our brush strokes. So think and look at the picture as to what direction their fur is going. And that is the direction that you are brushing. <laughs> Trust the process. Yes. yes. Um, that is the direction that you are always going to be moving your brush. And here, I'll show you guys what dry brushing looks like. So you see close up when this looks kind of like sandpapery, that's the best way for me to describe it. Like you can see the texture of the canvas through the paint that you've laid down. That just means that there's not enough water on your brush. And before Adam says anything, that's not a bad thing. It can be used in lots of departments. It can be used in lots of different places. It can be used across a whole painting if you like to. But if that's not what you're going for, which is not what I'm going for right now. <laughs> All you have to do is add a little bit of water to your brush and it will fill up those strokes and those little sandpapery spots, okay? So we're just gonna roughly paint his arms. <laughs> Sorry, I led you guys astray. <laughs> And you can color in his ears too, because there's no trash over here. Or I keep saying trash, but don't worry, I'll teach you flowers too. We'll try our best here. Let's brush that I literally, I, when I came to set my five minute starter or whatever, I forgot that like my microphone's probably still on. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you guys were there. Cause I was just rushing around with my head cut off and I like went, put my five minute timer on. And as I was leaving, I was like, Lord have mercy. How am I gonna paint this raccoon? <laughs> and dad's like, they can hear you. <laughs> so we're just literally trusting the process, okay? Um, what else can we do while we've got this gray on our brush? We can fill in those little legs. Is my music like 
vol like how is the volume of the music today? Cause now I'm using my Alexa and it's like over there. And I never know if you guys can hear it. It's good. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I never want it to be too loud. Relaxing level. Oh, even better. Thanks guys. Okay, good. Okay, good. So I just left some space. Like realistically, depending on your paint quality level, you probably could paint the whole raccoon and still paint these flowers or trash or whatever you want over top of them. But just to be safe in case some people's paint quality can't make it happen, I'm just, we're not going to do that right now. Almost ruined everything, you guys. Me, not you. And we're going to fill this in. If you want something cutie on his tail, just leave a spot for that. Yeah, Drizzy, the other two streams that you've been on, I was able to listen to, like, royalty, like, royalty music, like, licensed music or whatever it's called because i don't put them on youtube but now this is my like royalty free playlist <laughs> that i found one day and i just don't i haven't turned back because mama ain't got time <laughs> so now we think it's like real licensed music because we've heard it so many times <laughs> okay i still think this looks like a pokemon or like a flying squirrel or something hashtag royalty Also with the face, again, you feel out the quality of your paint. Most whites could paint over anything. If you're worried about your white, I wouldn't color in this guy. Or you can add a little touch more to your gray that you've already been using just to make it a little bit lighter to color in that face. Boyfriend literally just asked if you were painting a Pokemon. See, yeah, it does look like a little Pokemon. We can like change it. Halfway through, guys, should we paint a Pokemon? Remember, if somebody missed what I just said there, I just added a little touch of white to the gray we've already been using just to fill up his face. And again, I was just doing this so that anyone with low quality paints don't get left behind in the dust. But even if you have good quality paint, you can do it too. Not a big deal. But remember, since we're going dark to light, like we're just gonna keep adding lighter layers on top. Japanese monster characters must trap as many as you can. <laughs> I love when Aunt Justin makes things not, <laughs> not uh, what should, what's the word, not copyrighted. Okay, we're gonna leave it. Poke. It is kind of like Snorlax. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Also, uh. uh Oh, there's another ash in here. I was just reading it both as the same ash. Hi, ashes. Okay, so now we're on to like flowers or trash or whatever. And it's mostly we're just going to lay it down roughly. And it'll probably be our final steps to clean it up all the way. But like, should I get like, raise your hands to how many people want trash or flowers? <laughs> Where's my water while I wait? Um, how do I teach a flower? How do I teach a flower? It is a trash panda. Everyone's saying trash, eh? Jersey has hands up for both flowers for ash. See, I knew flowers would be wanted. Okay. Okay, I'll start with flowers and of course we'll get some trash. Paint a circle, add parentheses. <laughs> we should just make him lay on a giant pizza. Okay, one of the trashes we're making is for sure a pizza. <laughs> okay, we're starting with the flour first. People are gonna go over with, yeah, we're doing both. Don't worry, we'll do both. Um, people who are painting trash. Oh my gosh, of course, a beer can's easy for us to do too. A crushed beer can. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google some images, but we're gonna figure it out, okay? So let's first try to do a flower, okay? We're gonna do one flower here, a flower here. We will do both together, don't worry. Like you mean like me teach? Oh, like everybody do both, is that what you mean? Remember how I said that I'm not good at flowers, so like bear with me. <laughs> Pizza flowers. So I'm just getting out like a little red. It's a little bit of a pinky red for Cinderella. Where's my hand? 
High roll. High roll. High roll crimson. And if I start sneezing, then we know for sure I'm allergic. Crimson. Okay. Cinderella is using neon pink. Perfect. Oh, yes. No, no worries, AMC. That's 100%. We're going to do flowers and trash. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. So the first flower we're going to do is this one. So I think the best way to start a flower is literally just acknowledging where our center is. I'm using a pretty watered down paint right now. You have to be careful when you're using this choco milky consistency that if there's a lot of water in your brush, it will drip, which is sometimes cool, but some people don't like that. So just be aware that you might want to like tap, tap, tap it. Um, I'm using just red, like a pinky red, but like some people are using neon pink, like girl, you do you. We can do multiple color. I don't know. Okay. So to do these flowers, again, I'm using a little paintbrush. We have the center point and we're gonna start by literally like one petal is just, hey, we're gonna go back to bean science. It's a little bit of a bean that surrounds the circle. The first layer is easy because again, you just go right beside that bean and you're gonna do another bean. And one more time. What is that link, Drizzy? Where is that taking us? So see how I did three beans beside each other around that circle. And see how it's not like, it's not precious. Like, look, I didn't even color one in properly. There's some white in that one. I missed a spot there. I think, to a raccoon eating pizza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is epic. <laughs> I wish I had it on my, this computer. I could have shared it with the class. Um, I think the beauty of flowers is their like inconsistencies a little bit. So when we're doing our next layer, you're going to add a little bit more water to your concoction down below. So it just gets a little bit lighter. Again, you should tap, tap if you don't want it to drip. And we're going to start like bricks. Like you go into the middle of those two beans that we did. And we're literally just going to draw another bigger bean that goes into the middle of those two. You can make it touch, you can make it not touch. I think not touching kind of adds a little bit of a nice touch to it, but do you see that close up? Bean science. That's what you were called out before we were ill and we were talking about bean science. Or shouted out, called out is the wrong word. And so you just want to make sure that there is a bean in between or in the middle of each of the beans you already did. <laughs> Bean science. This one, I'm gonna make it go behind my raccoon. So when I paint the flower, I'm gonna paint it. I'm not painting it over the shape of the raccoon that we already did. I know it looks crazy, but does that kind of make sense? And then we're going to fill those spots and then our flower is El Complete. Well, until we put outline on it, but it's complete until now. You can make them overlap a little bit. So when you, I don't know if it's getting too into it or not when you're painting watercolory, but your paintbrush will develop like a bead, a bead of water and paint when you're used doing this watery concoction. Let's see if I can visually show you guys somehow. Bead sign? Who knew that you're just getting a toss up of just Bob Ross and Bill Nye in me. <laughs> like, can you guys see that there is a bead forming at the bottom of this paintbrush? That is filled with pigment and water, and that bead is what you can push around. And if you leave it on, like, 
how do I teach this? That's why I'm, I'm worried about watercolor because it's all about the bead and watercolor too, but I'm not really sure like <laughs> how to teach you guys it properly. <laughs> we'll figure it out. And since flowers are so inconsistent, just like ignore everything I just said about the bean while I try to figure out how to teach you that properly. And since flowers are inconsistent, you can have one extra petal at the end. It'll all be about our different saturations inside of that flower. But do you see how we started, how we got to this shape? By starting with the circle in the middle that will be yellow. We could have put yellow in there at the start if we wanted to. We started with the beans and then we filled in around the beans and it just keeps going, bean science, you know? <laughs> Worst teacher of the year award. <laughs> and then we have to let that dry before we continue with anything else on that flower. We're gonna do another flower up here that is at a little bit of a different angle. So if you look, if you guys can't see that picture of the raccoon very well down at the bottom, it's on my Instagram as well, which is also Tay Tay Ski. It's always good and important to look at what you are drawing. Um, it helps, it helps. So this flower, we're not really worried about the circle at the start because this flower is gonna be at a little bit of a different angle. So if you're looking at the one that's on his stomach, the petals in front of us are curved up. So we're gonna start, I guess, whatever, we'll make the circle. That's probably the easiest. Make a circle of where you'd want the center of your flower to go. Guys, I think I'm allergic to, I think Cinderella found out my allergy because literally, right as we started using this, my nose got itchy. Am I allergic to cadmium? <sighs> okay. Um, definitely. Oh, it's my whole life. <laughs> okay. So, we've got our circle bean. And this one, the petals are going to come out of it. You see how I'm coming from the center of our little circle? And we're gonna fan out some petals. See, starting at the circle. And then we have to let it dry before we can do the other petals that are gonna overlap that one. Let's make one more flower and then the flower people, if you want to do just flowers, you can continue on. And then us trash bags over here, we'll get onto some trash. <laughs> okay. Where should we put another flower? I need to like watch a tutorial on like how to paint flowers. Okay, so we go up to the top. We can make this one a flower too. Let's make a circle right on the tip of his tail. I can't believe how itchy my nose is. I'm allergic to paint and I'm an artist and this is my job. <laughs> and I use it every day. <laughs> That's ironic. Okay, uh, we've got a circle here. And kind of the same idea from the circle, we're gonna pedal out our petals. And realistically, it's okay if they're messy, it's okay if they're inconsistent, it helps. But one petal, two petal, three petals. Do, do, do. Oops, not even on the screen. Okay. And same with this one, we will probably need to wait for it to dry before we can do those big petals in the front. But how would I do one more like this flower so that... Oh God, I just got some red on there. I have a fear of becoming allergic to hair dye. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's a, uh, I don't know how I didn't notice it my whole life. 
the last few months I've been saying there's some streams where my nose just got so tickly and I'm like, why do I feel like I'm allergic to the world right now? Okay. Oh, hello, Tender Bear. What a lovely Thursday. Heck yeah. We're just painting a trash panda. I'm just poorly teaching everyone how to paint flowers. We're just, we're going live, folks. So let's try one with our good old bean science. Okay, Cinderella's flowers are done and she loves them. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Update, your pig is now Jerry the cat, but someone shot his face off Delaney. I'm sad for him. <laughs> his face will come soon and it won't be as scary. Okay, it's already nine, so let's just get another flower in here. Let's do a good old bean. My beans are curving with the circle. This one has four beans. That's okay. Again, like, see how messy that is. Just embrace the messy sometimes. It's done. And fill up the spaces of those beans with other beans. <laughs> And then again, outline, totally up to you if you want to outline them. Some people don't like outlines, some people do. I hide behind my outline often. <laughs> but um, you can also outline your flowers if you wish. And then let's draw a pizza first when it comes to trash. There's a big flower that kind of looks like a flower, sure. And the little yellow in the center will be a nice touch. Like I said, you can use that bead of paint. Once it collects at the bottom, that means all the pigment is down there. And that's how you can push around like darker points of interest. <laughs> Okay. Should we draw like a pizza? But see, that only problem is I only told you guys to bring black, white, red, and yellow. So we will try to figure that out. Just kidding, I have to finish the other flowers that we didn't finish yet. So now that those flowers are dry, the only difference of these petals is that instead of coming from the center and going out, we're kind of covering up almost the center with a little bit of a darker red. So that means a little bit less water. Your paint will be more thick and opaque if you have less water in it. The more water, the more translucent. But we are going to come into the front level. Oh no. <laughs> Just looks like a red swab to you. Let's try it again up at the top. Because the petals are darker, they will appear closer in space than the ones behind. Coming up here too, same idea. You're gonna come around that little circle that we have made. Ever considered adding a mic ASMR cell to the canvas so we hear bristles? Hey. You're not the first person to say, not in a live version. I never really thought of it as a live. I've like posted some stories here and there where you can like hear the, the bristles and such close up, but that's not a bad idea. It could be soothing. And my watch is dying. Okay. So how about let's start with a piece of pizza. And I told you guys to bring yellow, so I guess we can start with yellow. Cadmium yellow, just a little more cadmium into my life. And we're gonna add a bunch of white 
to a touch of yellow. We can make a pizza with the colors we've got here. So we, oh, Joe Kaiser. No, we still got time. You came at a good time. We're about to just paint a piece of pizza <laughs> on this trash panda. Yeah, you didn't miss it. Perfect timing. No notification. Go check those notifications. I just added a touch of red, you guys, to my yellow just to get, I don't know, crusty color. Doesn't really matter, really. We were kidding. So, where should we put the pizza? Behind his head, like right here? Sure. I'm gonna put a pizza here. Remember, anyone at home, what do whatever you want. <laughs> you don't have to make it a piece of pizza. You don't have to put trash in it. You don't have to put flowers in it. You don't have to put both. You do whatever. What does a pizza look like? <laughs> a piece of pillow, yeah. I need to like look at a picture of pizza to get the color right. Okay, yeah, okay. So we've got the crust for his little pizza pillow. And just so that we don't take too much time painting trash and stuff. I'm also gonna make a piece of pizza on his chest. So I'm just gonna paint a triangle right there. I'm also gonna paint, where else do you have a piece of pizza? Why not just under his butt here? This one is being recorded. If, you, if I have my overlay, it's being recorded. The only time it doesn't get recorded is if I have to like by accident record on my MacBook or something and I won't have like my name and double cameras and whatever. Pizza with a bite taken out of it. Ooh, sir. Yeah, no problem, Nikki. Are you, are you at work right now, I imagine? This pizza is gonna have a bite out of it, so we're just gonna pizza. That's okay. Thanks for staying anyway. That's going to be a big piece of pizza with a bite taken out of it. I'm excited to see your trash panda, though, Nikki. have to put people to bed now. Respect. Respect. Also, side note before you go, I love your mask. You guys, for Nikki's birthday, she was spending the day with us for paint night. And uh, so she decided what we got to paint. And she chose that monkey that we did that one day. I'm just gonna do another piece of pizza here. Um, and she painted a super cute, um, a super cute monkey holding a coffee cup and she put it on her a mask. She got like printed on her own mask. Isn't that amazing? Justin bit off too much. Too much of the pizza? Are you drawing today by the way? And thanks Madge, trying it out. Um, uh, Justin, that's exciting. I can't wait to see. And I'm gonna 100% run out of time. I'll see you tomorrow. After class, you can send me a picture. <laughs> is it? Bob, can you check the pizza? It sure is, Ilum. I'm just gonna make a drip here, guys, because I think it's fun. So I'm just grabbing a little more water in the paint that I already have, and I'm just gonna push on my canvas and let a bead Going back to the beads. Do you see how a bead is forming at the bottom there? And now the drip's coming. That's, those are the type of bead, bead science we're talking about here, okay? Oh, and I guess we can color this whole thing. Again, you don't have to drip if you don't want to. Fine. So those are gonna be pizzas. Somebody wanted a crushed beer can. I have to look at it. You know I be dripping. Oh heck yeah I do. Cinderella always be dripping. Okay. <laughs> Crushed beer can, let's go. <laughs> so 
So we're just gonna make it red for now. I know it's gonna feel weird, but we'll paint the gray over top of the red. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of red. Where should the crushed can go? Let's put one behind his butt. So the best probably way to do it is make a circle. That's gonna be like one side of your can. Again, this was not planned, so if this is hard, I apologize. We're just going off course here. I'm just starting on flowers. What consistency of paint? Totally a combination in between mostly chocolate milk, but just a little bit thicker. But I would stick with the water down. So see how this looks close up? Like it's not all solid one color. We've got darks, we've got lights. It's because there's water in there playing around with our translucencies. Justin, we are doing it live. We are. Oh, Dresden, thank you for all the love. And you, did you send me your address? I'm gonna send you a gift. Um, we're going back to these beer cans over here. So see how I did two circles? This might be a weird spot to do the beer can, but we're doing it. So the funny thing that's in between the beer cans, since it is just like a, what you call it, an inconsistency, it's just a smashed beer can. <laughs> so these are the two ends of our can, right? So you can bring down both edges and then literally just color in those spots. It's just a pointy bean, you guys. So what's gonna make it look more like a can is we're obviously gonna put the little hole at the end and we'll put some white and black lines in there to make it more reflecty. But it's all about getting the shape. So that's one type of shape of beer can. He can, let's just do like the top of a beer can here. So if it's a circle, realistically, who are we kidding? It's probably gray. But we can paint this circle. And with the red around the side, it'll match that red beer can up there. And that'll just be the top. So once we put a little black circle and a little shape to show the k of the can, we'll know that's a can. You can even bring some of your gray up into those two circles of our can up here as well, because that's the aluminum part of the can. This is so funny that he just has like pizza and flowers and garbage. Okay, what's another garbage we can do? Realistically, anything can be garbage. Like you can get any color you want and we can just make little piles of crumples. Like if I Google cartoon trash. <laughs> What other things are trashy? Oh, an apple core, duh. So up here, let's make him have an apple core, which is literally just a half circle curved with a rough edge and it'll come down to another red circle with a rough edge. A banana peel, another good one. Banana peel is just yellow. Why don't you show me a good... How's our trash is going? I know we're jumping around a little bit. We usually don't do such high detailed items. Okay. Let's put a banana peel right here. Justin's math stressed right now. I know you're not messing. I know it's because I'm jumping around like a psycho. You guys, people want to trash. I don't. 
I'm patron of the people. If I give them what they want, okay? Let's do a banana right here. <laughs> a banana's easy. We'll just make a line up. And from the top of that line, you bring another line down. And let's put it behind him. Perspectively, that banana doesn't make sense, but we're living our lives to the fullest. Here's another banana peel. Justin, I can't, you never tell me that you're drawing until you get too stressed <laughs> and it's too late. Banana, 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 pizza, pizza, pizza. Did you put trash in yours too, Cinderella? Just flowers, respect. Here's another banana peel for fun. And we'll put a little top on that and we'll know it's a banana. Rusty is missing one thing. What? Bananas, you said? Are these not bananas? <laughs> I know right now it looks a little crazy, but I'm just adding some yellow to this pizza cheese. And then we're gonna put little pepperonis on those pizzas and we're gonna know that it's a pizza. What a hilarious painting we've got going on here. But it's already 20 after nine, so I feel like we've gotta get moving on the raccoon. The guy's not gonna fill the last prize. <laughs> That's what Ella was saying about like, Bob, can you take a pizza? We can paint a little napkin on this little guy. But you guys, trash can literally be little squiggles of garbage too, like this. Garbage. <laughs> How about right over here? Oh, what's that? A blue pile of garbage. Same over here, weird. Somebody just threw out a bunch of post-its, I don't know. Crumpled garbage. <laughs> okay. That's literally what I'm just going to do is to fill up extra spots. A sophisticated, just pulled out of the trash can raccoon. A hundred percent. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Okay. Because realistically, you guys, trash is trash. It doesn't have to be something exact. We're just kind of trying to fill up some of those spaces. So if you see in my painting here, see how there's darker blue here, lighter blue here? It was using the same brush the entire time. It is just more water or working over spots with more water that gets it into be these lighter consistencies or having different um, values throughout your little panda, your little panda. Little background, is what I'm trying to say, my words. Are gone. But see how those little blue whatever they are is just kind of filling up that space. Again, I didn't tell you guys to bring blue, so don't stress if you don't have it. Just people wanted the trash and we're getting the trash. Okay. I'm going to get back to the raccoon just so that we can, just because it's getting later and so that people can... Oh have a raccoon, <laughs> doesn't get too out of, doesn't run out of time. I've seen a raccoon take a dog dish with the food in it <laughs> and just run away with his funny little feet. Okay. Just before we finish, I guess I'll do the cans quick. And then we're getting to that raccoon, y'all. Hey, where did it go? 
There we go. Okay. So to make a can look like a can, it is really just, imagine what that little opening looks like. It looks like a little smile. I'm just using black on my brush. Probably a little too harsh to use just black, but that's fine. We can light it up if we need. And then up here as well, just do one little black hole. Hello, Dan. She needs more coffee glasses and such. <laughs> no, I didn't wake up that long ago. Who are we kidding? Okay. Flowers and trash, what a beautiful sight to see. Now we're gonna paint this little raccoon and then we will have time, I need more paint. To add all the details to our trash, <laughs> which is a funny sentence to say. Hey, you guys, I was scooting to my lash appointment. And I was chewing gum and I bit my lip a little bit, not terribly. And then you know after you bite it and then it grows and then you just like keep biting it even more. And now I just feel like my whole lip is just like swollen inside my face. Okay, let's get back to business. We got distracted by trash. So we are going to take out our black and gray. Beautiful if you still have some on your palette left over, this gray that we were doing before. If you don't, not the end of the world. You love my Christmas light setup. Thank you, Rayana. That's how you pronounce your name properly. They actually go throughout a bunch of my studio, which is kind of cool. I just panic that they're gonna like catch the place on fire or something. <laughs> Amazon, Psh, Amazon. It's like a, how many feet? I think it's like 10 feet of Christmas lights, which is pretty cool. Okay, we've got that dark gray, not dark gray, eh, lightish gray on our palettes again. And it's not chocolate milk, you remember it's a little bit thicker. We want more paint than water on our paintbrush. And we are just gonna fill in the spaces that we didn't put trash, okay? His body gray. As close as you can get if you don't have it anymore. We are gonna be painting little frillies over top so it's not the end of the world if you can't get it exact. Um, but that is the goal. We're just gonna try to fill him up. There's a pizza. Remember, water on your brush. If your paint isn't pulling nicely, water is your friend. Get that hair out of there. Again, it does help to be kind of conscious of your brush strokes. Not the end of the world because we are painting it pretty thick, but it always helps to be conscious of what you're doing. Justin, are you still panicking over there? So strange. Send me a picture right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've traded positions right now. I'm the momager for a minute. I don't work for you. I was just going to say. I just said we changed positions. You're in my house now. You're not my mom. <laughs> you not my mother. Justin's basically mine. Who are we kidding? Okay, I filled in those flowers. Okay. You can fill in those spots over there too if you need. Do, 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 do. 
Not nice. Hey, no worries. That was nice of you to say. Glad you hung out. Thanks for stopping by. We have a lot of friends in here today. More than usual, so that's nice. Okay, keep filling up those raccoons, people. I just realized I didn't put the yellow cheese on this pizza. Again, I'm sure you guys are still coloring your raccoon, so I'm just jumping around a little bit, not to stress you out. Things that I can help with as we go. Just to make this look like pizza. We just gotta paint little red circles on it, really. Who are we kidding? very simplified pizza. If you want to make it detailed, I'd add some oranges in the cheese, some browns in the crust. Ooh, that's a big pepperoni. And if you want something to be a little bit more subtle on a shape, it's always best to come in with a little bit more watered down paint first because then you add some translucency that will show the color underneath and it won't be such like an aggressive blob or paint stroke or whatever on top of the shape. That's for Christmas. Check that pizza out. Anybody else should have started yesterday? No, just me. <laughs> Okay, well, Justin, you knew that it was going to take you longer anyway. That's normal when it comes to these things. But it's not your fault this time. Deciding to do a bunch of trash. <laughs> not in a bad way. I mean that you like, to, you like to take your time when it comes to drawing and painting. Not a bad thing. But today was the worst one because all of a sudden we started doing trash and... So I was jumping around like a crazy person. The pizza is not to scale because look how big this piece is by his foot and that one. Yeah. Oh, there's an inside joke there. The bigger, the cuter, if you ask me. Oops. Ellen just loves a grid and scale. <laughs> pizza, pizza, pizza. Meep, meep, meep. That's a weird one, but embrace it. How's your raccoon? You guys, are we ready to start filling him out a little bit? Our first step is gonna be... You know what takes the fun out of art applying math to it all? <laughs> yeah. That's an understatement and a half. Who does math? Okay, so I'm going to my dark gray. If you still, hello, Gabriel. If you still have this color like left on your palette, gorgeous. Classic me, I didn't plan enough ahead. But if you have the same color, we're adding just a touch of black to it because we want it to be a little bit darker. Not a lot of darker, just a little bit darker. Just a little bit, okay? Again, not chocolate milky. We want it pretty thick. A little bit of water to help you out. I'm using a small brush with a pointed tip. Can you even see that on my own screen? No, I'm not. There you go. And we are going to go into the darker spots of this little guy. Okay? See you, Tender Bear. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. 
So we're going to start, and remember how I always talk about being very conscious of your brush strokes. This is more important now. So we are going to start, I'm going to make mine a little darker so that you guys can see. It doesn't have to be a lot darker. We're just doing a little bit of value change to make him um, have some shadow. Oh, hello, Ben. Fancy seeing you here. Welcome to the Trash Panda. We're about to paint some shadows on him. Okay, ready? We literally are just going to brush on some of these dark little hairs. Talking about being conscious, conscious? Of our brush strokes, because this is how we're gonna make him look fluffy and adorable. Wow, my watch was literally listening to me say that the whole time. Can you guys see on there? Oh, I just went away. Listen to me say that whole spiel. Hello, Phoenix. Welcome to the studio. Okay. Do you see how here now on the bottom right side of him, we're getting this nice little dark shadow of little dark fluffy hairs? Remember, water will be your friend on this one, and don't put too much pressure on your brush. And we're just doing these in the spots that should be the darkest. You can also bring it over our initial shape. Like I'll bring this closer to you in a second. Do you see how that's going over? Because it's showing how fluffy he is on the outside. So Phoenix, we're just learning. I'm teaching everyone how to paint this little raccoon. Originally it was supposed to look like this down here with the flowers, but then everybody wanted to paint him in trash because he's a trash man. So. That's what we're doing. I feel like I should have made this flower way bigger. We'll figure that out later. So yes, right now we're doing shadows. We're doing dark, fuzzy shadows to make him look cute and fluffy and give him some depth. So he's dark up here, which means, hey, maybe he'll have a dark little belly, which makes it maybe yours, Drizzy, will look even more pregnant. Do, do, do. Again, I'm always being conscious of my brush strokes. Like I'm going like, because I want it to look like his fur, like the natural ways that his fur would also be going. Teaching gradient shadowing. So to an extent, so my classes are like, I always have new people in them every time. So it's hard to um, teach full lessons that like get down into the nitty gritty of history and exactly what's happening um, into why you need something dark here to light there or example etc etc um, but I try to do it as easy as I can for the masses that some people have never painted before uh, what are we doing here we're doing some more shadow on this side remember how I always tell you guys the best way to see where your darks should go if you don't understand how light works. So look at your picture down here and squint at it. And you should be able to see where the darks and the lights come out a little bit more. And it's very important to always have a good range of value in every painting you do. I literally have my high school art teacher. I drew up like some pencil drawing or something and I thought it was so good. And it was good, but she was like, you just need to push your darks a little bit more. Like you're you don't have a wide range of shadows, so it looked a little washed out. And then when I did push my darks, it was like amazing how much more it like popped out. It was pretty cool. I didn't realize tonight we were painting me. Kenzie the trash panda has arrived. You're so funny. Isn't he cute though? Justin's also drawing today. Ew. Okay, what else do we have? Um, right under his chin, we've got a puffy little chest. Justin is 90% stressing, 10% making, and that means that he's failed rule number one. Which is what, everybody? Trusting the process. It's okay if your process is just longer, okay? <laughs> Trust the process, have fun, all of the above, you're failing. I 
Okay, how's that? He's got a little darker under his chin. And of course, on the top of his little head, let's get some little fuzzies as well. And as you can see in the picture, we are going to go over everything with white fluffies. So that's kind of where we get a lot of the lightness of him. Yes, you can. How is that? See how it's like little hairs. They're kind of inconsistent. Some of them overlap. They go over top the gray spots. I mean, the gray shapes that we originally drew, you know? And that's how we make them look fluffy is by bringing those fluffs over the edge. Don't touch me because I am close to the edge. How do you feel about using opacity in digital art to create shadow? So Phoenix, I truthfully am a terrible digital artist. I'm a traditional girl to the core. Um, I just don't really know what I'm doing on there, but I use like multiply layers. Multiply, right? Like colored multiply layers is usually how I play. And then I guess playing with the opacity, but I don't know. I've never been fully trained in digital art. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so your guess is good start. Multiple layer. Isn't it multiply? Isn't it like when there's like different types of layers in Photoshop? I have a Photoshop here. Yeah, multiply, multiply. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, multiply is dark. That's what I'm talking about for shadows, right? So I would do a layer of a color and I'd make it multiply and then use that in the shadows that I want to like darken them without like using black, like you use like a color. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we still have got the dark here. We're gonna start that little raccoon tail. And we're gonna start at the base and we're gonna do what is that? Like a half inch of little flailies. We're still using this dark gray. Yeah, no math here, Elam. Math free, no math, no rulers. It's a safe space. <laughs> and then you're gonna come another chunk up because you're gonna acknowledge where that white layer of his tail is gonna go. And then let's just do another little ping, 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 ping. Remember, water on your brush is gonna help. Not much pressure, you're just using the tip of your paintbrush as you are doing these little flailies, okay? You don't use paint, most of your art is pencil and Indian ink. Hey, teach their own. I like to play with ink as well in my like sketchbook. I was a drawer and a sketcher way before I was a painter. And now I paint my sketchbook like a freak because I just... Painting is so much easier for my lazy self. When you can like paint with one brush stroke, fill in a whole spot. With a pencil, you have to like scribble it in, you know? So then once I forgot that down, I was like, paint for life. Uh, what are we doing? We're still going. Yeah, what do you use for inking? Dip pens, brush pens, what's your favorite? That's a good question. And see how when I'm going with these dark spots, we are going to go with black in them as well. But do you see how I'm following the shape, like the direction of the tail? I'm trying to go a little bit quicker so we can get, I know it doesn't have to be 10, but I always... It's usually just two hours for us to do it. I don't like to go long for just for everyone who wants to go to bed. Is he starting to look more raccoon-esque, you guys? I think so. Most of your art is black and white. See, that's fun to work with, too. I'm just a freak. I need to have, like, obnoxious colors in all my papers. Okay. We're still going. I'm kind of, I assume you guys are 
take a little bit longer, so I will just keep flailing some little flailies. Love the trash, thanks, Ashlyn. It was a group decision. And see here, I am painting one side of these ears dark as well. Remember, don't let me stress you out if I'm going too fast. Holler at me. I get panicked for the time, so then I just naturally go fast like a jerk. Okay, where else is he fluffy? Over here. Remember, put some water on your brush if you find it not pulling nicely. Anxiously waiting for the face. We'll get there literally right about now. I'm debating if we should do white first and then finish it off with black. Probably. It's so cute. Trash panda. I'm just adding dark to some spots. Okay. I made his head pretty big, but that's fine. We still have this darker gray on our brush. We can acknowledge where that center line is again. Made his eye, I mean his head look back like the cat eye or something, like we're painting a horror film over here. And I guess we could put his nose there too, if you want, just to place it. So, I think best bet is to go in with our white to light gray and then black and then it'll be mostly done. I'll have to go around to the details, but Alrighty, folks, we are going to go into our white with a very tiny touch of black. We want it to be almost pure white, but not. You can even put a little bit of your gray in there, maybe. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry that I can't click that link on this computer, Phoenix, but I'm assuming that's your work. If anyone else wants to go take a peek. Okay. Same thing, we're doing basically exactly the same as what we did before. But now we're going in with a lighter color just to give this little guy the look. Ooh, we'll do that after. Um, just to give him some depth and some lighter color. So I'm using this light, light gray, almost white. And we're just gonna start flailing. Remember, light on your brush. If you want to use a smaller brush than me, that's fine. But I'm basically going to go in all the spots that we didn't go with the dark um, gray, okay? We will go over them a little bit, but it's mostly in these open spots that we're just going to lightly brush. I'll bring it closer for you guys to see, don't worry. I find this like the most relaxing part of painting, but see what I'm doing there? And remember, it's not like a pure white. It's a little bit of a gray because we will go over with some pure whites after. But again, just in all these spots that are flat gray, like that we haven't done our like dark gray swipeys of hair yet. Let's fill it up with some of these little light swipes. You can go over the dark spots a little bit, but it's good to keep the dark spots through if it makes sense. A little nubbin of a leg there. But again, if people are like, if your lines are coming out too thick and you're stressed, like it's lit, I don't know if I can show you guys how not, and without the light, it's hard to see. Like I'm hardly touching the pa the canvas at all with my brush. It's just the tip of it. It's so light. I'm using my uh, 
hand, even though make sure it's not wet over here, to steady my hand, and I'm just do, 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 do. very little little swipeies. When I don't hear anything from you guys, I get stressed that it's hard or something. But you let me know if you need any more help. Even though I say it all the time, water's your friend, don't forget it. More swiping. Nothing exciting over here. Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> I don't know how you guys are gonna do this digitally. Sorry, I never really thought about that. Phoenix, thank you. If you want to see, I like I said, I couldn't click your link um, just because of this computer I am on right now, but. If you want, if you have Instagram, all my work is on my Instagram, which is also Tatayski. It's the same way. The same as my caffeine account. A raccoon without eyes. Well, hello, Casil. The eyes are coming, I swear. Right now we're just making him a fluffy little guy. And like, it's okay if like one of your little swipes is like a big fat one or something. Like, it's fine. He's a raccoon, a creature of nature, so it shouldn't be perfect. If you're making every single hair the exact same distance from the other one, it'll look mechanical and it won't look like a fluffy little guy. So it's good to be inconsistent and kind of crazy with your lines to be like a snooty weird artist to you. <laughs> Things in nature aren't perfect, okay? <laughs> That's AI precision. I, it, it, it's, yeah, but it's funny because some people's brains um, do that. So I'll never forget. It's always, that's, it's my lesson. It was my lesson, I mean. A girl in our art school. Yeah, oh, and Justin Fair. <laughs> that's another one. A girl in our uh, illustration class. She was a very like digital artist as well, like 3D, uh, what is it called, like Z-Top or something, but a very precise artist while like I'm just like a flailer, like I don't pay attention to any of that stuff. And she painted like a night sky scene and all of her stars were perfectly a distance from the other one. Like it was weird. Like when we looked at it, it like looked like it was just like a grid of stars, but her brain literally just laid them out like that. Like she didn't map them out or anything. And that's where I got that lesson. Well, you're not that bad. <laughs> but she didn't even notice. So it's just like a cool, it's cool how, um, she did it by accident though. That's what was so funny is like, she like didn't even notice. And like trees, she would like place them perfectly. <laughs> Ilum loves it. He's like, I'm here for the perfectness. <laughs> but. That's why I always, when people are at home stressing about laying down these lines and such, it's like, hey, don't. <laughs> You'll achieve the look better than you think by letting go a little bit, you know? How's that? Coming along. That's kind of fun. A little fluffy. I remember too, Justin, it was grandma. It's a friend from school we call grandma because uh, she's a grandma at heart. But she was one of the few of us that loved math too, like some weird artist. Oh, Carol Baskin, yeah. And uh, I remember in sculpting class, she did, I don't remember how the math worked, but she did a bunch of like equations to like figure out how to fold something or whatever. It was all like math based. And I was like, wow. See, look, now I don't even remember what the story, what the project was, because I just didn't even understand it. 
And then we had to one year, like years later, in like in illustration, we had to make informative uh, infographics. And it could be on any subject you wanted in the world. And I chose like allergies for kids. So I like made like a kid's demographic of like what things do when you eat things you're allergic to, like what happens in your body. So I could make like cute little like allergens and stuff. Um, because you obviously have to like illustrate it to whoever your demographic is. And she chose like, what did she choose? Now I can't even remember it. Something about st string theory. It was string theory. Something about calculators. <laughs> it was full. Um, it was fully string theory. And I was like, hey, pardon me? As you guys can see, sorry, I'm just like chatting over here. I just drew a light triangle inside of our raccoon ear along the line of the dark spot of the ear. Well, you sent me a message on Instagram? Perfect. I'm not invited to the wedding. I don't know, I didn't get my invitation either. Um, let me see. Da baby, da baby. Heck yeah, I did. And a bunch of people at home painted it too. It's because we say things like this on the stream, of course, Justin. <laughs> because we publicly <laughs> compared her to Carol Baskin. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, you guys, we've got those white fluffies. Well, you gotta do the same thing to the tail. You can make it a little bit lighter if you want. We're going in those same spots that we left out and we're gonna do some more little stringies. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, sorry, right, Phoenix. See, my brain just goes and goes. Well, that's cool. Wait, is it in my camera yet? They were sending me their digital art. Okay, we'll zoom in. My camera never likes to focus. Ow, I just punched myself. Super cool, great textures, moody. Okay, so it's almost 10. Wow, flailing. Okay, let's do some of these little... Why is that raccoon on fire? Kenzie, we're all anxiously anticipating what your raccoon's gonna look like today. Trash panda, trash panda, where are you? You need backstory on what? Okay, so yeah, I guess you came in here and you have no idea what's going on. So I am a full-time freelance artist. So my full-time job is just sitting in this room painting paintings for people. And in the last year, I have picked up streaming. And we sometimes, the streams are just me working on a painting and you guys just like hang out with me and it's cool. Or today's on Thursdays, only on caffeine, I do these paint nights. So people at home follow along and we paint something together. So that's what's happening right now. That's what you stepped into at the moment. Um, but most of the days, uh, it's just me like hanging out and painting my works related things and we just like shoot the shit. Um, shoot the, not that. I'm plus 17 today, so that's fine. Okay, so we've got the white in the tail. It got a little crazy up there. Whoops. Shoot that shit, yes. Um, but now we've got to get some more white in his face and let's start that little raccoon face, am I right? So we have that pure white on our brushes. I'm still using that like thin little brush. I'm still using more paint than water on my brush, but there is water on my brush. Nope, no dry brushes on right now. Sorry, Adam. And we're gonna start by just coming about halfway down his face here. And let's just do the same old hair swiping that we've been doing all along. I think I made his head a little bigger than I should have, but nothing wrong with that. Same on this side. Let's uh, give it a little flail flail. But yeah, the baby baby. 
I'm uh, or to baby to baby. <laughs> you can see all my work on Instagram. That's where I post my life. It's also Tay Tay Ski. I just realized that Justin, with my new thing, I didn't have my underlay or my my little thing. This is what I do full time. Is that funny? It's my full time job. <laughs> yeah, Justin, it's not my fault. Huh? I'll make another one if I can figure out how. So again, guys, I know it's like 10 right now. I'm so behind, but let's get this little white face in here. No, Justin, you don't have the time. See that raccoon face coming on? <laughs> I am here today. We've literally switched positions. Casino, you've got all the time. Stop rushing. Yeah, but the people that started painting might not. I don't know. All right. I think we are almost ready, Freddy. I'm just flailing some other white lines in there just to make his chest a little brighter. Because remember, the lines we did were a little bit gray, so you could put bright white in and do the same process over and over again until you get the effect that you want, okay? But for time's sake, we are going to... Um, I am going to... We're going to go to black now. That's a joke. We've got white on our brush. You might as well make some highlights throughout the piece. So like on our can down here, like you can put a little bit of a white highlight on a banana peel, a little bit of a white highlight. Hey, maybe on those pepperonis, let's put a little bit of little white spots on there just to give them a little bit of depth. Do I always paint upside down? I do. Um, not this picture is supposed to be just like a raccoon laying in the peony so the picture actually is just him upside down um but in my natural practice i do paint upside down a lot because i like to get the drips to go up as well like see how this drip went down like sometimes i like flipping it and painting this way so that when you flip it again the drips um are going upwards it's kind of my signature i don't know and, uh, yeah, the baby. They call me Barb Ross around here. Just kidding, I think that was self-proclaimed. Somebody called me Bay Ross the other day, and I like that. And my signature description of this little critter is he's a kitty. Just a little kitty. Just putting some highlights in some spots. Ooh, that ruined that completely. Ignore that. You just got me to say it so that you would add to the cutie jar. You little guy. I paint happy little trees. We ain't got no mistakes. Just happy accidents here. Just like today, we weren't gonna... Trash was not planned. Like, if you see the picture down below, we were just gonna draw it flowery down here. But... The people wanted trash, so obviously we're gonna do that. So remember in our cans how I said we're just gonna put a little bit of like white line, like literally just scribble some white line on there. Oh wait, where's the apple? Where's the can? There it is. And uh, there's some reflections on a crinkled can. I am a painter for the people. I don't know how that started. It's provocative. It gets the people going. <laughs> okay. Realistically, all you flower people, we didn't put yellow in the middle of our flowers, so you can do that whenever. Just a little dab dab with some yeller. <laughs> and, uh... It's provocative and gets the people going is fully from that song, but also... That Anchorman. Hello, Quacks. 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 So if you guys see in my flowers here, so I filled that little yellow circle fully, but then I made some little drops. A 
couple little spots around it of yellow. See that? Nope, because it's blurry as crap. Your actual name is Knox and thought that Quox named your username. <laughs> you would have fought him in the parking lot for that username back. <laughs> Just kidding. I see like, what, is Ben still in here? Oh, but Ben's a five. I was gonna say, you got Ben? That's a crazy that you got your username. If I could just get Tay, that'd be pretty cool too. Okay, everybody. Oh yeah, the CEO of Caffeine's name is Ben. <laughs> and he gets the name, that's fair. That's respectable. Um, I have been on Caffeine coming up a year. Uh, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I think I started in the end, middle, end of September last year. So honestly, any day now might be my one year anniversary. I should look into that. I've been a partner for three months. I'm new to the game. Was in a room with him like a month ago. He hopped in, dropped coin sack, and bounced. <laughs> hey, it's a good job to have. To just spread the coin. Okay, you guys, I've got pure black on my brush, and this is gonna be kind of our finest, final touches, okay? I know it's after 10, so we're going. October 18th will be your two year. Amazing. I've never, you guys, that's the funniest part is I have never streamed anywhere in my life before I started caffeine. I've never even watched, I've never even watched somebody stream before. I never even have been on Twitch. I never even been, yeah, on any of those other things. So I'm a pretty big noob. I know, but the final touches will give them eyes. Don't worry. Black is the last step. So we are going over and just kind of bumping stuff up. So we're going back over the dark grays. <laughs> Yo, what do you mean, Paul? I just kind of have eyes. Um, remember when we go over these other layers, like you don't want to cover fully the dark gray underneath. Like we want to see both of those. You don't want to cover up all the work that you did already. That like adds the depth to the piece and the nice texture is when you can see that dark gray that we did underneath already, you know? We're just adding to the texture. And you still don't have 98 followers. Wait, you still don't what? What do you mean? Followers are hard to get on a live, if you're not like live streaming all the time. To be honest, a lot of my followers come from my caffeine, not my caffeine, my Instagram. Who are we kidding? Wait, so what got you starting doing this? The Rona? <laughs> the Rona took it off for sure. Let's cover that little dark, that little foot black as well, you guys. Um, I was just, just because I like I like streaming. Once I started, like a friend suggested I should try. And once I started, I really liked it. It was just like hanging out in the studio for a bit. And then somebody suggested that I do a paint night and I was really nervous. Um, and a couple regulars who are actually here right now came to all my paint nights and like helped me out to like get started and start going. And then a Rona hit like four months later and then it took off by storm. I have done them in person, but live is just this, like, I can't see your guys' paintings. I don't know how it's going for you. I don't know my speed. Like, it's very different than doing it in person, you know? Um, one thing I didn't tell you guys about was these little feet. So you just color in that foot beam and literally just draw three little claws out of both toes. And the ones that I do in person are always just, like, classic, like, landscape, like, boring. So here we do fun stuff, okay? Let's go, we've still got black on our brush and we can fill in these little fingers. And this is gonna be a completely up to you goal. Like if you wanna turn these into fingers, perfect. We can use that original shape that we made. If you wanna just make it a little mitt and not worry about fingers, that's cool too, okay? The way that you turn that mitt into fingers 
is you just use that map, that shape that we use, and just bring fingers out of it, literally. So you can see where the rectangle was underneath. Or if you want, literally just color that baby black fully like a little mitt and nobody will even know the difference, okay? Weep. Weep. But know that he's got little claws because they're little gremlins. <laughs> yeah, exactly to baby. Guys, today we're painting a raccoon lane and some mother effing pizza. <laughs> And sorry, Phoenix, your site goes live January. Hey, that's exciting. That's exciting. January is my birthday month, so anything that happens in January is a good day. Okay, we've got a nose. You can color in that little nose. And let's get this little guy some eyeballs, okay? And you know what's funny? It's easy as crap. We're just going to go... Just like we've been doing this whole time, but let's just color in that little spot with the black rectangle. Again, remember, we're using more paint than water. It's not the chocolate milky consistency, but there is water in your brush. Okay. How's that? Thanks, Phoenix. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little. I'm gonna go, I'll can, I have your Instagram now so I can see your work. Okay, we've got some raccoon eyes in there. Let's do a little black line inside that ear. And while we let, oh, we didn't do his little mouth either. How did I do his mouth? Where did I learn how to paint? Ooh, I'll answer that question in one second. Okay, so right under his nose, we're just gonna do a little smile line. We're basically just playing keep away. You're following the bottom of his nose without touching it, just like whatever is that, a millimeter, I don't know, away from the nose. And you are going to bring that line down on both sides and just oh wait I'll show you right bring that line down on both sides and then just cap her off and fill it in we'll draw his little teepees later or it can be a grandma raccoon and our middle line with the black And then again, completely up to your comfortability level, but it's kind of outline-ish time when it comes to our raccoon -y. So again, remember when we outline things with fur, it's just by doing that little like brushy strokes that we've been doing already. We're not giving him a straight line. See how the black is literally just like those little hairs that we've been doing all across the whole thing. And we're gonna go all the way across around so he pops up. Madge, gotta go. I'm in need of a bath. Dropping a little ducky. Madge, you sweet, sweet angel. See you. Um, okay, who was asking about where I learned to paint? So, truthfully, oh my gosh, Madge. Spoiling me. Thanks. You guys are always just spoiling me. Um, when it comes to where I learned how to paint, I've always... Justin! You guys? No. No? No. You guys are the best. Thanks. Um, back to my tangent. Sorry, I'm just... My brain's everywhere. Um, I always have just been... I laugh at the people that come to all the paint nights because they probably hear me say this every time, but I've just always been artistically inclined. So I always like to draw, paint, sketch, 
whatever. So I'm just lucky that as a kid, my parents just like gave me art supplies and just like let me be a weird art kid alone. <laughs> um, and you just like learn by doing it. Like that's the best way to get good at any artistic skill is just doing it a lot. Cause like I can tell you like put more water on your brush, but like you won't know what that feels like until you feel what like not having enough water on your brush means or etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's really just doing it. Um, and now I'm twenty. How old am I? I'm twenty eight years old, <laughs> and I've been either drawing or painting or something ev literally every day of my life. So that's all. Well, I feel like whenever people say inclined, they need legs crossed. Well, my leg is crossed, so that's a start. <laughs> mm, just such a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> okay, here is the fur of our little guy. And realistically, if we want to get real, we should probably outline our pizza a little bit. If I do declare, it's Blair St. Clair. Okay, let's get just a little bit of an outline on the pizza. If you want, you don't have to. But of course, y'all know that I love a good outline, so I'm just gonna quickly outline these babies. Give it a little shadow. Sorry, let me know you guys if you if there's somebody that like needs to leave and they want one step done quickly, let me know. I'm just gonna tweak some of these things as that dries before we paint his eyeball on there. I just started the stream today just so frazzled, which isn't new or awakening. But um, we should probably put an outline under his little trash bin chin. I'm waiting for the eyes so my kids can go to bed. Okay, Cinderella. Let's do some eyes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. They're literally just white dots. It's literally nothing. So we are going to just do... You're going to get white on your brush, and you're literally just going to make a white circle. And when it dries, you're just going to put, like half a black circle in it is really all that you have to do for his eyeballs. But we'll paint those white, let that dry. They are complaining about being up late, but yeah, but you might complain tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know kid life. If you wanna make some dimension on his nose, you can add a little light gray in there. So it's literally, I made a black, a white circle. I probably should have made that a little bigger. Make a white circle. The bigger the eyes, the cuter the creature. Who are we kidding? Okay, we've got two big eyeballs in there. Right? And while we have white on your brush, you can do his little teethies. They're literally go to the outside, make one light white long line. Those are his little pointy teeth. And then just make little short ones in between them. Sorry, my light's not made for me to bring it close. So right now, yes, he looks very scary because he has white, pure white eyeballs. But all that I did was, you might need to get a smaller brush if you're not comfortable with the one you're using, but you're gonna make a black circle in the middle of that white, uh, um, the white circle that you just made. And then it's gonna feel redundant, my other favorite words. But once that dries, we're literally gonna go back in and put one tiny little white in there. 
And while we wait for that to dry, we can put, why not, a little, some little like nose, what are these? Whisker holes, I don't know. What do you do on non-paint nights? Similar things. It's basically this, but like I'm just painting something that you guys, like you're just, we're just hanging out while I paint something, not teaching you how to paint it. Like you don't have to like step by step or worry that people are falling behind or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's a little bit different paste. Um, but it's basically this. Same thing. Usually there's more people like just hanging out because I think even though this isn't true, I just, like, true for me, but some people think that they're, like, distracting the class if they talk too much in the paint nights. But I get, like, weird if people don't talk because I don't know what to talk about. So it is appreciated when people, that's why I call them the peanut gallery. It's appreciated when there's people in the peanut gallery <laughs> because I get awkward. But... That's another thing that's nice about streaming is that I'm not just like alone in my studio all the time, right? Oh, Jen! Sweet angel coming in with the heart. Thanks! Oh, the baby. No one's looking at you weird. Everyone's happy that you're in the peanut gallery as well. It's fine. You're an important part of the stream, okay? <laughs> or else I would just be like this up here, just like, mm, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Okay, are you guys ready for that one little white spot I was talking about in that eyeball? I'm gonna get a really small paintbrush to make it happen. Oh, just really little. Get that pure white on your brush. And this is like, you probably don't even want like any water. You can use straight white, no water. And my shaky hand is just gonna go boom. Sound effect necessary, obviously. Just a little white speck in there. And then his whiskers. I know people are like leaving because I just took so long together, you painters. I'm sorry. Cinderella sent the picture on Instagram and now she's off. Well, we gotta see it. I think I see that there's a few in here. <laughs> okay beautiful Jen, why are you suddenly hungry for pizza I know sorry the trash panda will get ya won't he look at Cinderella chose not to do trash she just did beautiful flowers super cute super cute oh we don't have eyeballs on this guy yet but it's coming um, oh, come in. No eyeballs yet. These were before we got to that spot, but let's see this one. You guys, Kenzie showed us <laughs> her raccoon today. It turned out great. I don't know about y'all, but the realest trash pandem of them all. <laughs> we all are always excited for Kenzie's picture of her painting. <laughs> You kill me. You kill me. Okay, sorry I took forever again, guys, but here, let's do some whiskers. Like, huzzah! Oh, that's just a thick white line. We'll just ignore that. Kenzie does work hard. You do. But I feel like now's probably a good time to talk about our other show, Kenzie, that we were debating. We thought it was because it just started out of the conversation of like, other ideas for paint nights like whether I have like other creators on the platform like we like one screen is me and one screen is them and I'm like teaching them a paint night and you guys are just like watching it's not as much as like people at home have to paint along it's a little more casual but then from that Kenzie thought like how cool would it be to like teach someone blind like I saying what I say to you guys I'll be like oh a bean here a circle here but you can't see what I'm doing and I can't see what they're doing. Does that make sense? So like me and Kenzie will be here, for example, I'll be on this side of the desk and she'll be on that side of the desk. We'll face each other. We'll put two cameras and you guys can see both, but we can't. What do you think about that? Is that a cool idea? 
I think it is. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you guys don't. <laughs> Actually, it does, because will you watch it? I guess that's the most important part, is many people will watch it. We'd have a good time anyway. Everyone can laugh at my expense. It wouldn't be, it's not with you, it's it's not at you, it's with you, right? Is that how that goes? They won't be laughing at you. Stacey and Adam approve. I just forgot I didn't outline the whole gap. But what's probably coming before that stream is Kenzie and I are gonna carve some pumpkins on stream. That will be fun. Whiskers stress you out, they never turn out. Okay, you know what's really funny and rude of me to say as the teacher, but same. Same. Um, but I was gonna just cheat <laughs> and use, uh, just kidding, I don't even have it on me. I would suggest to get those little pumpkin, a uh, pumpkin, I just read pumpkin. I'm just saying you should get that little white pen. You totally should. Okay, you guys, when it comes to the raccoon, are we like content with him across the board? Other than I'm gonna start outlining some outside shapes because hand shaking isn't a thing anymore. High five. Or just like elbows, right? Is that a thing? Watch on that. I just forgot to outline this little tail. It's so funny. I wish I like had a time lapse of how I painted this raccoon before, because this is my original painting down at the bottom there, which is nice that I don't have to like copyright somebody else's painting <laughs> like sometimes. <laughs> But, um, I don't really remember how I painted it, to be honest. I'm just gonna, like, a banana peel needs the top. Needs the top. The baby just pumping my tires over here. Thank you. Looks like the product of a lot of Adderall and EDM music. <laughs> you kill me. There for sure was some EDM music involved. <laughs> Just kidding, that's a lie. I actually don't listen to music very often when I paint because I usually like dance too much. <laughs> Like, I'll just be, like, into it, and I'll just be, like, try and paint. So I watch TV. Hours and hours and hours of garbage TV. Because I work, like, probably about, what, maybe 16 hours a day, probably. And I just watch trash TV. <laughs> like, the real world, or, like, X on the beach, or, like, are you the one... Or, you know, just like good things like that. You know? Snooki and Jay, wow. Jersey Shore. I pain crush Maury all day. <laughs> I love that you brought up Maury because I used to be obsessed. It's something, you guys, like my life isn't very dramatic. It's not very, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's not exciting. It's just not, I, I live a very drama free life. So I just like live to watch like people with not as drama free lives. I just love the drama. In high school, Maury was on every day at four. I remembered. You're not the father. Real Housewives. See, that's one I never got into, not because I could, like, not because I didn't want to, but because I never had, like, the channel. Real Housewives. Selling Sunset I just recently got into. But, yeah, see, Justin's the same as me. We just have, like, TV in the background all day. 
and I just crush through seasons. Like a new show will come on Netflix, and like before people even wake up and know that it's on, I've like watched the whole thing because I just have it on. <laughs> it's just like you go to work, you turn on TV. Oh my God, the Circle Justin, that's a good one too. But yeah, you go to work, you turn on a season, and it just plays the whole time you're there. You know. We did watch it the night that came out. It came out at midnight, and literally before everyone woke up, we're like, we already know who won. <laughs> just kidding. It was like a couple days. I just started Ratch. Ratchet? Ratchet. Oh my god, to baby! I'm literally, like, if I had my iPad, that's literally what I was watching before we started. I'm watching the season where that, like, little poor Mormon girl... Well, not poor. She said some terrible things, but... There's a Mormon girl just getting pulled through the ringer because she said some very not nice things. <laughs> you just finished what? The real world? Okay, Justin, I started... Oh, Ratchet! Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, like I said, I just started it. But sometimes, like, when I'm working, it's hard to start, like, things that you need to, like, watch. Like, I think that's why I watch Garbage TV because I'm like, oh, who cares if I missed... Jenny kissing Christopher <laughs> whatever but um, I started watching Ratchet and I was like oh I'm missing stuff and I didn't know who's who <laughs> so. and Justin talking about the Indian matchmaking see that's another thing is like I tried to watch it a lot of people said it was really good but it's heavily subtitled so when I'm painting I can't it has to be something that I don't have to pay attention to, you know? I like borderline, like by accident. Um, I by accident. What am I trying to say? Not by accident. I like almost like learned Spanish watching Jane the Virgin. <laughs> like, did Chris actually say Becca was a bitch? <laughs> yeah. See, exactly. It's like, it's okay if I miss that. Like, it's fine. I don't really care. But, uh, are we, like, almost, does he basically look done? Tad way! Share my broadcast again. Uh, thank you. You think the panda is cute? How do we feel about that? How do we feel about the trash? Needs more pizza. Hey, you know what? I never say no to more pizza. Let's see, where could another piece go? Right out his little butt. I think I got some more panda sent to me though before we go. Aww. Okay, here, we've got someone who bailed on the trash. That's okay. Oh, your raccoon looks more like a raccoon than mine, to be honest. Here we go. And, oh, look at all the flowers on this one. Super cute. Super cute. A question mark. What's the done? We don't know if it's done. Is that what you're saying? Did I get anyone sending any in my message requests? It doesn't look like it. Does this raccoon have a wagon? Maybe, like, is he in a wagon? Right now? Oh, look at these little guys. Uh, the face, I imagine that you think it just looks messed up because his forehead's just a little bit big. That's all. I think if you black, like made the black a little bit bigger, you know, I think he's great though. I think that's just the proportion is just his forehead is bigger. If you make those black lines a little longer. Yeah, 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 try. That's an easy fix. Oh my gosh, this one's got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh my God, I love him. Look at all you guys painting them upside down. I'm so proud. Uh, how did you feel about it? Was it fun? Did you like him? They're just so cute. Am I missing any other ones down here? You guys, great jobs as usual. 
Like a wagon? What do you mean? I don't get it. <laughs> Upside down was neat. Aw, Sam. Like I said, I guess we probably could have turned it around. But like Justin pointed out to me, can I f flip this around? Let's see. I don't really know how to rotate that actually, but the proportions are really weird if I flip it upside down. But hey, I think he's kind of cute. Oh, double raccoon life. Oh, <laughs> like that girl's got a trunk. Is that her saying? <laughs> What she got in her trunk? Um, okay, we've got... I forgot to paint little nails on him, but that's fine. Nails, nails, nails. Oh, right, and Tadway said more pizza. That's an easy request. If I have any white left, it's gonna be a dirty piece of pizza. Sorry. Wait a minute. Did I miss somebody's? Yes, I missed. I missed a couple of the winners here. Look at this one's even got can like pop can rings or whatever. Nice trash. Is there a cigarette in there too? Oh my gosh. They're so, isn't it so funny how like that turned into that? Art's amazing, I love it. So you wanna see what my signature looks like to sell these babies? Where's my pen at? Just gonna get close to personal for a second there. Um, this is what my good old Tay signature, oh, that's, well, do it with a paintbrush, I guess. I've been debating changing my signature these days, which I know is pretty crazy. I've had it for about 10 years almost. It's just because it's very easy, it's a lot of pressure. Oh, I mess up my signature all the time. This paintbrush sucks. <laughs> I'm messing it up! I'm doing it! Let's try this one. I usually use those little paint markers because I'm a cheap. A rebrand, did you say? I know the guy to talk to about that. It's okay, I can't mess it up. I can literally paint black over top of it. I just, all my paintbrushes are failing me right now. Tay? This is literally the worst signature I've ever done. I'm like shaking. <laughs> I'm like sweating, you guys. I'm just failing in this department. Where is... Sorry, just getting close in there. All my markers are dead. There we go. T. A. Y. Nope. No signature today, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why it won't work. <laughs> 20, 20. So usually it's one fluid motion and it's not so ghetto. <laughs> but you know, it's something like that, close enough. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's going off. Oh, we got some more photos. We got some more photos. Oh my gosh. That's okay that they're not done yet. I still like to see them. Super cute. Oh, I just realized that this picture was up the whole time. Had some trouble with the, fla with the raccoon, but peep my flowers. Yeah, your flowers are literally better than my flowers. So, nailed it. Your raccoon is fine. He just needs some white in him. If this is yours, actually, I guess. Am I talking to the right person? Um, 
And then we got one not done yet, but also your flowers are way nicer than mine as well. Told you guys from the beginning, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, your raccoon just needs some white strokes in there. And now I feel like I have to redeem myself for my signature. Here. What does that actually look like? Let's see. Can everyone watching these send pics of your six of the signature? See, look, this is how easy it's supposed to be. I don't know why that failed so hard, but that's my signature. T A Y O for Odinsky 2020. See, that's the beauty. I don't know why it failed so hard. <laughs> There we go. Let me get this guy out of there. Close enough, right? But yeah, Justin, maybe I want to rebrand. I don't know. Oh my gosh! You guys, I forgot about thumbnails. What do I do for this type of... For my new layout? I can't do fun things anymore. Oh! I literally ate my last piece of pizza. You're right, Kenzie, that would have been the best. Do I just hug a garbage can? Should I do that? <laughs> this is, so I guess the baby has no idea what's happening, but I, I post all these on YouTube so that like, people who can't make it or if I go too fast, somebody can do it later. Um, and my thumbnails are a very important part of the process. And I usually have some quite high detail of thumbnails. Usually my art directors in the uh, crowd here usually art directed for me. Should I just like hug a garbage can, you guys? Just like this? <laughs> or I can just Photoshop a garbage can in. Wrap yourself in a garbage bag. <laughs> but then I'll just blend into the chair. That is a good one, but I would just be like, a head with the chair. A head of the chair. I just like get eyeliner and I just raccoon eyes on it. Wear a babushka. You know what's funny is I still have my mask from when I was Batman. It's on my Sheldon Cooper over there. Bruh, Photoshop you sitting on a throne with a pipe petting a raccoon. I guess I could just like pet him. <laughs> I think it's so funny too how I can make it if I get it in the right spot. Make it look like I just have a little arm. <laughs> Should that be my thumbnail? <laughs> I like the garbage can. I'll just like Photoshop pizza around me. Oh, wear the garbage bag like a babushka. That's what you meant. That makes more sense. Realistically, I feel like I should put my mask back on. Like, the eye mask, right? Because wouldn't that basically be like my raccoon eyes? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I know you guys just saw it, so it doesn't matter, but like, how funny is that? <laughs> you guys, stop. This is Justin's raccoon. <laughs> Look at his fur. You did not. You hand drew Louis Vuitton patterns on your raccoon. You guys, Justin's coming for my job, too, apparently. Look at that. Oh, my God. You are with my MacBook trackpad. You're a fucking psycho. <laughs> how? Like, literally how? That's why he was stressed the whole time, you guys. Freak of nature over here just hand-drawing Louis Vuitton logos onto his raccoon. Look at the shape, though. Like, I'm so impressed. Impressed? <laughs> I meant to say impressed. 
Okay, I hate PCs. Like, let me put my browser where I want. There we go. You guys, I'm impressed. That's, uh... I should have expected greatness, but I... I didn't. I <laughs> just <laughs> I'm tweeting on the chat. <laughs> you kill me. Okay, well, I think it was a great success. We had a lot of people today. It was a good day. Sorry to anyone who wanted to just paint a cute little raccoon in flowers, and then halfway through, I just threw in some pizza and some apple cores and some pop cans. But, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen here in Tay Tasty Studio. Am I right? Okay, so, moving forward. <laughs> um... Hopefully next time I see you, my undercut won't be so unkept. <laughs> um, I don't know when I'm on next. Uh, for sure Thursday, you guys. Don't worry. Every Thursday, so you don't forget it. Um, I'll be here doing a paint night, 8 p.m. Always happens. Um, but other than that, I'm working with different times, different schedules. Um, let me get this out of here. Late night shows, cool things coming. Yeah, I got some new stuff. It's just hard for me to figure out, oops, schedule wise. It's hard to figure out when is best. Not only for like you guys to be there and watch, but for like my life <laughs> as well. Oh, wandering veteran. Hey, hey, hey. Um, uh, how you doing? Good to see you. You know, we just painted this trash panda. No big deal. Like, interview me. Hey, to baby, I'll do it. Bring the content. Cool. I won't say no. When will you do your first 24-hour show? Ilum. Truthfully, confidently, I can say never. <laughs> I can truthfully say I never will. They're exhausting for me. Like, not exhausting. Like, I have a good time. But, like, right when I get off of live, I'm, like, depleted. It's hard to be like on and answering and painting and teaching and on at the same time. You know, it's tough. Wandering veteran celebrating his birthday alone. No, you're not. You're with all of us. Everyone say happy birthday to wandering veteran. Don't worry, I'll go. Happy birthday. It's COVID times. I feel like most people are just like ruining everyone's birthdays. Um. The baby reviewing pampers or what? <laughs> Kenzie, you're funny. How do I have 26 new notifications? What's going on here? Yeah, I think it's beating everybody up. It's beating everybody up. Yeah, like who had fun? Uh, just 26 what? I'm talking, I'm in four different conversations for a second. But, um, oh, Justin's starting the Who Had Fun game. Svengali! Did I see you in here before? Hello. What's up? How you doing? You need more? I'm pretty sure you had like a million followers around the corner about to be famous. You've been saying that every time that I'm here, but obviously not. <laughs> I just don't, what sucks is if I could stream all the time, to an extent, not 24 hours all the time, but if I could stream more, it would be great. I just, my real job, we're getting this like is my, whatever, I guess this is an extension of my real job, but my real job is very busy. I have a lot of things on the go with work all the time. Um, and some paintings, like, I can't stream, like, I can't show you. This, like, my real job is, like, the art, like, I, I'm a full-time artist, but my real job, I would say, is more, like, those orders, like, those commissions that have been ordered by people for me to paint, um, that I'm, like, being paid for consistently, uh, those are strict sometimes, right? Like, that's, that's been my job for years, is painting paintings for people. And then streaming has come in just in the last year of just, like, an extra, right? Um, an extra side, and it's great. Like, I can work and chat with people, but I don't work as long. 
I mean, not as long. I don't work as well as I would alone, right? Like I don't get as much work done. So it's like progress cut in half while I'm streaming. So it's, I can't stream all the time. <laughs> I work 16 hours a day, yes, but can I stream that long? No, I can't be like on the camera the whole time. I can't answer the whole time. And that's the whole point. That's the beauty of my stream is that I'm very in with her. Like I'm in on the conversation. But so if I stream with just you guys like watching me in the studio, I feel like that's it's hard for me to do. It's hard for me to ignore y'all. <laughs> and asking about could I do a mural in an office? I have done a couple murals. I've done one in a boxing studio, one in a children's playroom. Um and one that is booked once coronavirus lets me come back to the states because the baby i'm a little canadian i'm not an american so once i'm allowed back down there they will be possible yeah <laughs> i psyched you out everyone thinks i'm an american now just a little canadian uh well i live in calgary so i should be a flames fan but i'm not like a huge sports fan i watch hockey but not like obsessively um have you cut up on painting or is it a forever backup because you're near famous stuff well i have not caught up to my paintings um the last three months i was working on illustrating a children's book a 40 page children's book and i was painting 15 36 by 36 inch paintings that were for an apartment building, a brand new apartment building here in Calgary. They filled all the hallways up with me, which is pretty cool. And that was what my last three months have been. Um, crazy, like finishing that. But that's like just two projects. I have like 64 other paintings on my wait list. I think 64, I think 64. Actually, I finished one yesterday. So like 63 or something. Um, also on my wait list, so I'm not picking them up until, I'm not picking up, I'm not taking new orders until I finish all those 60. So it's looking like mid next year, probably. Mid to late next year is when I'll be opening up again. You have any thoughts on Austin Matthews? I don't know who that is. Uh, on a side note, we're based in New York City, so if you could do a mural there once Rona, <laughs> gladly, gladly, I'll do anything in New York City. I love, I love New York. That's super cool. Well, the baby holler at me anytime. Just kidding. Anytime Rona stops. Um, the art in your building sad. The art in my building sad too. It's tough though, like, so I just got to paint like a bunch of celebrities, like musicians, which is cool. But like, imagine if you like, didn't like the music musician I painted and like, it's outside of your house and like every day you come outside and you just like see like Gore Downey and you're like, I hate that guy or something. I don't hate Gore Downey, but you know what I'm saying. Elon Musk painting his day, <laughs> slowly but surely. Not quite, I got a long ways to go. I'm still a baby, you guys. I'm still a baby in the art world. I've been full time for about six years coming up six years now which is pretty exciting and um i am make the baby in the art world hey like i'll take it um but i uh what was i saying with that yeah my next step is like i probably have to move out to a warehouse soon because i'm growing out of my little studio Which is pretty big, but it's still little. I'm running out of space, and it'll be nice to have like a real official place, like public place to go, like a Taytayski store. When you're in Calgary, you could come visit. Or a California studio. Hey, if I'm ever allowed in your country again. But yeah, me and Kenzie have big dreams, you guys. Big dreams. So that's kind of what I'm working on now. Um, but yeah. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you follow me on here, you'll know what's up with my life. I share most things. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's all. Um, I post every Sunday what my schedule is for the week. And 
Other than that, thanks for hanging out with us today, you guys. We had a good chunk of folks the whole time. Um, oh my gosh, I love him. Um, yeah, look, I'm so bad at goodbyes, you guys. I just ramble on for 45 minutes. Great to meet you, you newbies, to baby, looking at you. Um, and everyone else that hung out with us for the whole time and painted raccoons. We had a lot of painters today. And wandering veteran, remember the time I complimented you? I meant it. Sweet, sir. Even nice to others on your birthday. All right, you guys. Oh, Lisa coming in at the end. And to baby drop to follow. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed your first hangout in the studio. Hood baby. The baby. Making all the girls go crazy. That's all I can think. Um, good night, Lisa. Good night, everybody. Um, catch you on Thursday for sure. 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Always. And um, if not, get that Putin Uni out of here. Don't worry, I'm leaving too, you guys. So kind. Justin, we're very proud of your raccoon. Your Louis Vuitton raccoon. I hope you had fun, Shay. I hope that fixed your little raccoonie's face with that extra little spot. And uh, yeah, the Poonie's my favorite. I'm actually finishing a video for Caffeine's YouTube about the Poonie. You heard it here first, okay? I'm actually just talking it up because what if it doesn't happen? I've been taking forever, but... If you guys want to learn how to draw a Putin Uni, let me know. Because I'll teach you. Uh, okay, you guys. Yeah, Wandering Veteran, it'll be my first time doing a less, like a recorded paint night without it being live. So that's kind of cool. That's how dedicated of a streamer I am, is I've never recorded a paint night not live, and I don't really know how it's going to go. So. Okay, like a more serious straight up demo. Yeah, but I can't do stuff seriously. It'll still be like me, but I won't be like shooting shit, I guess, you know. Okay. Au revoir, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the flip side, okay? Yeah, shoot, sure, sure, like the pony. More like stars. Putin stars like the pony. Okay, you guys. See you soon.